Hi, welcome to my class. Today we will work through some side bends. It will be quite a slow flow. We'll be going through some movements more than once, sometimes faster and sometimes slower. So just see what serves you best. Listen to your body and um, if you need to just even take some breaks and pick it up again later. So let's start in a comfortable seated position. If it's easy for you to sit, to kneel down and sit on your shins, that would be kind of ideal for now. If not, start at easy cross and we'll move back to kneeling straight after. Take a little moment to close your eyes. And to check in with how you're feeling right now, if you're ready to move. Perhaps notice your heartbeat or your breathing. If they're both accessible, then choose the least accessible. One. Feel the weight of your whole body resting at the front on your shins. And take a few deep breaths, deep into the belly, into the bottom of the belly. Letting it grow and exhale to empty it completely. And another couple of times. With your next inhale, lift both the hands up, looking towards the ceiling, towards the sky, wherever you've chosen to practice today. Then slowly lower your right hand, I'm mirroring you, exhaling to go towards that side and, and stretch just a little bit. Inhaling to start coming up, lifting the other hand also, exhaling to the opposite side, your left. Taking a nice inhale there and exhale gently to stretch a little. So we're going to be taking two full round breaths, moving from one side to the other and ending up with a deep exhale at the end. Stretching the top arm all the way, maybe lifting your sit bones ever so slightly and moving to the other side. Keep your gaze up or anywhere that feels relaxed. So inhale to find the center. Exhale to start lowering your right arm. Inhale to lift the left. Exhale to stretch even more. And let's stay here for two breaths. And the other way, inhaling up, lifting both the arms, exhaling. Slowly lowering the left arm, inhaling to stretch the right one and exhale to stay for two breaths. One more time, coming up, making it nice, slow and gentle and allowing as much space as you can find. And last one. Both the hands moving slowly and then stretching, lifting, reaching away. Come back to center, both hands up. Look up towards the ceiling, draw your navel in and start lifting your whole body up onto your knees, reaching up, exhaling, hands in prayer, lowering down slowly. 
And we're gonna repeat this. Inhaling to lift the arms, lift the body, lift your chest, hands come apart, palms facing back. And exhaling, hands in prayer coming back down. And three more. In your own breath, your own speed, inhaling to lift and exhaling to lower. Let's try the two next rounds, even slower. Can you slow yourself down any more? Can you start exhaling for five, for four, three, two, and last one, and inhale for four, three, two, one, and exhale for another five. Two, three, four, and five. Taking a little moment to register again with your body, with how you feel. Maybe finding your heartbeat being a little bit faster. And moving both the hands onto your mat to find your first tabletop. In your tabletop, find both palms under your shoulders, knees, as wide as your hips. And take a little moment to move towards the left and the right. A couple of times. And one more. Turning your left palm upside down, facing towards you. Fingers towards your knees, maybe on a straight line. And then going back and forth. And a couple more breaths. And taking that hand back where it was and switching to the other palm upside down. Finding a nice strong tabletop, tucking your toes under, going backwards, inhaling to the front. Almost like finding momentum, but not let it grow. And one more. Then keeping those toes tucked, push your weight backwards, hovering the knees, finding a down dog and not even settling there. Walk your feet all the way to the front of your mat. Maybe you prefer to keep them bent. Maybe you want to challenge yourself straightening them. And then reach for those thighs with your belly. Keep the knees bent, inhale to come all the way up, arms up, reach up, gaze up, and lower your shoulders. Taking a big circle around you, arms on either side, and let's take a slow sun salutation. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower towards those feet towards the floor. Inhaling to grow straight and strong with a long back and exhale both your hands on the mat. Take the left foot behind you, left knee on the mat, right knee in front of you. Inhale to lift the hands, exhale to lower them. Take the left one back also and the right, sorry the right. Inhale to take a nice deep breath there. As you're lowering down, bend your elbows on either side of your ribs. Inhale for a mini cobra. Maybe changing the feet, taking a little moment, feeling that back of yours. Feeling the chest opening. And with your next exhale, Tucking those toes again, going towards a down dog and walking the feet straight to the front. Exhaling all the way down, inhaling to lift and exhaling to stand. Inhale, lifting the hands, lifting the gaze, exhaling to reach forward and down, bending the knees. Inhale for a little lift, staying nice and strong. Exhale, 
taking the right foot behind you, right knee down, left knee bend. Take a nice breath, lifting the arms up. Exhale to lower them. Join both the feet behind you. Inhale there. Exhale. See what you want to do with those feet, with your toes. Coming all the way down, inhaling to mini cobra. Elbows pulling back, shoulders opening. Your chest is open, your gaze forward. And exhale, back behind you. Walking the feet back forward. All the way there. Inhaling to lift. And exhale to stand. Inhale, lifting the arms. Exhale, hinging forward. Inhale, creating space. And exhale to find your way to a nice plank pose. Inhaling in your plank, letting those heels stay strong backwards, lowering the knees all the way towards your mat. Inhaling up and exhale back. Let's hold this down dog for a few breaths, perhaps bending the knees or working towards straightening those legs, lifting the heels, your choice. Maybe keep walking your dog, but without actually moving the feet. And then lower both the knees as close towards your belly as possible, really bringing thighs and belly close together. Walk one foot and then the other and make your way to the front. Inhale to find a nice strong chair pose. Can you suck that belly in and bring your bottom in? Can you keep the shoulders down and hands strong facing up? Can you find a relaxed position for your neck, making sure your knees aren't further forward than your toes? Inhale, all the way up and exhale to stand. Inhale to lift your right knee in front of you at something like 90 degrees with a nice engaged foot. Exhale to let that heel take you backwards, finding almost a low lunge, but taking a little break to register there. Find the left strong glute. Lower the right knee. Bring the hands up. Exhale, hands on the mat. Inhale to lift the left foot as quietly as possible. Straightening behind you. Exhale to bring it in. Inhale to straighten away. And exhale in. Inhale out. And exhale in. Let's do the same a little bit slower. Inhale to let that foot reach back further back and even more and exhale to bring it in two more counts let's do it even slower inhaling back and exhaling in two more one more with the next inhale take that foot all the way behind you Look for the mat. Maybe take that right foot a little bit to the side, further behind you, maybe outside the mat. Keep the right hand up. Inhale to lift the left arm, reaching to the floor or the wall, the sky, whatever it is you've got there. Taking the left shoulder back, staying nice and strong. And then inhale this left arm up, coming all the way to finding Something like a warrior two, but low down. So look towards your right hand, relax those shoulders and play a little bit with your palms. Moving them up and down. And one more. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale to reach for the mat, straightening this left arm to the side, reaching away one more time. One more breath, keeping the left leg strong and engaged. And exhale, both hands on the mat.
squaring your hips again, finding your tabletop, maybe taking a little rest in child's pose if you wish. Otherwise, we're gonna move through a cat and cow motion, but you can take five breaths in child's pose instead if you wish. If you're moving, inhale to look up and exhale to look towards your navel. Inhaling up and exhaling back down. Three more. And two more rounds. Make this your last one or come back to tabletop if you've taken a little child's pose. Tuck your toes under, lift the knees, take your weight backwards almost via down dog and walk your feet to the front. Inhaling via gentle chair pose, hands come up and exhale to stand. Inhale to chair pose. Bringing that belly in, your bottom in, knees not further than the toes. Stretching the chest, reaching up. Exhale to lower down. Inhale to find that chair pose again. One more time. Reaching up and chair pose. Exhale down. Inhale to lift everything and exhale to stand. With your next inhale, lift the hands and also lift the left knee. Finding a stability on that right foot, right ankle, engaged left foot and let it drive you backwards towards the lunge. Finding that foot behind, finding strength in the right glute. Inhale to lift your arms and exhale to lower and find your left knee on the mat. Lift as quietly as possible this right foot all the way behind. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale to stretch and exhale to bring it close in towards your chest. You might notice your weight moving a little bit on the left here and that's okay. You can work towards not letting it move or you can accept where it is and inhale back. Let's move a little slower, exhaling for two more counts and inhaling back. And exhale to bring it closer. Inhale one more time. And exhale. With the next inhale, reach back that right foot Finding all the way the mat, move the left one a little bit further behind, so it probably goes off the mat, and inhale to lift your right arm up, reaching to the side, lifting strong and long, finding a long line between the fingertips and the edges of your toes, allowing space between the ear and the shoulder, and then find strength to inhale and come up almost to a side. Warrior two, but on the knee, looking towards the left hand. And you can play a little here with those palms. Reversing them one side and then the other. Inhale to reverse this warrior. And exhale to reach forward and back down towards the mat, swaying the right arm across, inhaling to a side stretch. Really grounding the edge of your right foot and working the stability on that left one. And both hands come onto the mat, finding a tabletop, 
finding strength and lowering your hips towards your heels and taking a little rest in your child's pose. Take five more breaths there. Or four. Checking in with yourself again, your heartbeat. How hot you're feeling. And come back to kneeling, walking those hands backwards, finding yourself on your shins. Inhale to lift the arms. Take a nice long break there and exhale. Inhale in. Take a little pause at the end of your inhale and exhale. Taking another little pause at the end of this. Inhale for three. Pause. And exhale for another three. Pause again. So see if that breathing pattern works for you. And if so, try to maintain it throughout the next bit of moving. Find your breath and whenever you're ready, as you inhale for three, start also lifting the hands, lifting the hips, bringing your whole body up. Exhaling to slowly go down. Maybe taking little breaks in between inhales and exhales also here. Inhaling to lift for two more. One more and pause and exhale down. Last time, inhaling up, pausing and exhaling down. Take a big round behind you with your arms, finding your wrists or finding your elbows. If you wish, you can go for a whole reverse prayer. It's up to you how far those arms feel like going, how your chest is feeling today, how your shoulders, and then from where you are, wherever your arms are, whichever bind you've chosen, take an inhale to lift the chest, look up, and exhale to hinge forward, to reach forward, and let your head relax last. Lifting the Bottom of the elbows as far away from your body as possible, whichever choice you've taken. Lift your whole self up with an inhale. Lifting the chest and exhale to go back down one more time after this one. Whenever you're ready, lift those elbows a little. Inhale to come up in one piece. Lifting the chest and exhale back down. Inhale. Come up, let go of the arms, give them a nice shake. Bring the hands all the way up and exhale at the center. At this point, you can start over, do the whole thing again. Or take a little break and go to your savasana. Thank you for joining.